Hi guys, um, today I'm going to go through a, a pregnancy safe Pilates, um, vitamin and Pilates class that you can go through yourself at home. Now, this is something that is safe uh, for you to do throughout your entire pregnancy, so whether you're early on um, or whether you're like me right towards the end, so I'm almost 35 weeks this week, so all of these exercises are going to be safe uh, for me to do. Um, and also yourselves at home. A few things that you will need um, is a gym ball or a physio ball. If you don't have one, don't stress. You can do a few of these exercises either sitting um, how I am or even just standing because we're going to do some squats and um, things in a minute. Um, and some little hand weights. They don't have to be heavy, one kilo, two kilo, something like that. Um, and if you don't have hand weights, that's okay. You can use some tin vegetables if you've been lucky enough to get some, uh, or even um, a couple of full drink bottles. So something that's just gonna give you a little bit of resistance if we do some upper body weights. Just a little quick reminder, and I will talk, um, and I'll remind you sort of throughout the class as well, is that if you experience any pain whatsoever in any of the exercises, please do stop. Um, they might not be suitable for you if you've got particular conditions um, in your pregnancy. Um, so just rest with those particular ones and then join in uh, for, the next, for the next exercise. All right, we will get started. So we're gonna start on the ball first up. So if you've got your ball, you can have a sit on that. And I'm just gonna bring these weights over as well. Okay, all right, so when we are sitting on that ball, we want to make sure that our knees are hip width apart and that our feet line up with our knees and line up with our hips. And we want to sit up nice and tall on that ball. You can pop your hands on your hips and we're just going to do a few little pelvic rocks to start with. So if you imagine like your pelvis is a fishbowl filled with water, what we want to do is we want to tip the water to the front of that bowl and then to the back of the bowl. And if you're doing this on a mat, it will make some funny noises, so I do apologise. So tipping that water from front to back. And this is just going to help loosen up through your pelvis. It's actually a really nice one to do at any time, especially if you are getting any back pain in your pregnancy. Can we now take that water and we're going to move it from side to side. This one's a little bit easier to see on the video. And again, I will apologise if I get a little bit out of breath. So. Exercising and talking is a little bit tricky now. <laughs> Good, so we're going to tip that water from side to side. From here, can we then start to do some nice big circles? So we want that water to come all the way around the edges of that ball. And now you start to hear this ball making a little bit of noise. <laughs> Sort of rolling all the way around, nice big circles. Beautiful. And then we're going to circle in the opposite direction. So coming the other way, whichever way you went. So we take that water from the front to the side, to the back, and to the other side. And just keep up with your breathing. I will talk you through a little bit of breathing. If it's a little bit confusing, that's okay. Just make sure you're still breathing. Good. We are going to stop at about that halfway point. So we want our spine to be in neutral. So we don't want to be too far forwards or too far back with that water in that bowl. Hands on your hips still or on the ball for a little bit of balance. We're going to do an exercise called leg stretch that's going to work our thighs a little bit and our balance. So can we take a nice deep breath in here and then as we breathe out we want to straighten one knee and then inhale as we pop it back down. 
We exhale, straighten the other side and inhale to return. So we're alternating side to side. Exhale, extend, inhale, return. And you want to really focus on locking that thigh nice and tight, pointing through those toes as long as you don't cramp. Good. So we're going to go for about eight reps on each side. Straightening that knee and returning. Let's go for two more. So exhale and then inhale. And we want to try and keep our body as still and as straight as we can. We don't want to be sort of tipping from side to side as we straighten that knee. Good. We'll relax those legs there. So next exercise is scissors. So this time it's more of a marching uh, type movement. I'm going to have a little bit of uh, trouble because I've got a big tummy in the way. If you're a little bit earlier on, this exercise is still quite comfortable to do. So let's take a breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to lift one leg up off the floor and then inhale as we return. Exhale as we lift the other side and inhale to return. And can we just try and make sure as we're alternating side to side, our legs don't start coming closer together. So we still want to maintain that bit of a gap between our knees. Beautiful. Exhale as we lift, inhale as we lower. Still sitting up nice and tall, try not to let that body sway from side to side. If you've got a smaller tummy than me, you should be able to lift your leg a little bit higher. You start to feel this through the fronts of your hips and again through your thighs, that is normal. Exhale, lift and inhale. Perfect. Let's go for two more on each side. So I started with my right, so we'll go four more marches. So one, two, three, and four. Beautiful, you can relax those legs down. If you don't have a gym ball, you can be sitting on the floor for this next exercise, just sitting on, um, sitting on your knees. So into a couple of little stretches, so a mermaid stretch. So can we take a nice deep breath in? And then as we breathe out, we're just gonna stretch one arm all the way over, and you should get a nice stretch down the outside, or the side of your trunk. Beautiful, take that arm back, nice deep breath in, and then breathing out to stretch over. Breathing in and breathing out. Good. Inhale and exhale. And you can, if you want to, just try and tip your hip down on that ball just to get a little bit more of a stretch. Just careful that you don't overstretch. You just want to feel a gentle pull. Inhale and exhale, beautiful. We'll go for one more on each side, breathe in and then breathing out. Good. Breathe in and breathe out, last stretch over. Wonderful. All right, we're gonna go into some upper body weights. So if you've got some little hand weights, grab onto those. If not, a couple of drink bottles, a couple of cans, anything can double as a weight. So I've just got some little one kilos um, here, only because I'm at work. <laughs> Otherwise it would be cans at home. So we're gonna go into some bicep curls. So arms are gonna rest down by our side, elbows tucked in nice and tight to our side. Sitting up nice and tall on that ball, or you can do it in standing or kneeling. 
that is fine if you don't have a ball. Let's take a nice deep breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're gonna bend our elbows and then breathing in as we straighten them. Breathing out, bending and breathing in to straighten. So we wanna keep those elbows nice and tight tucked into our side. Imagine like you're holding a $50 note in between your elbows and your ribs. We don't wanna lose that 50, let me tell you. I apologize for the phone. <laughs> Good. So exhaling as we bend and inhale as we return. You should start to feel it working through that front bit of your upper arm. Good. Exhale and inhale. Perfect. Let's go for four more. So we're going to go for four, three, two, and one. Wonderful. Just relax those arms for a second. The next one we're going to do is some punching up. So we're going to take those arms, we're going to pull those hands and start them up at our shoulders. Sitting up nice and tall. See if you can just gently lift that pelvic floor as well. Let's breathe in. And then as we breathe out, punch up to the ceiling. Breathe in, bring that arm back down. Breathe out, punch the other arm up to the ceiling. And breathe in to come back down. Good. Breathing out, punch up. And breathe in. Good. Breathe out and breathe in. As we punch up, try and keep those arms fairly narrow. We don't want to be punching out to the side. We want to punch straight up. Beautiful. You start to feel it working through the upper bits now of our shoulders. Good. Exhale, punch. Inhale to return. Good. Now, if you've got a heavier weight than me, take little breaks whenever you need to. We're going to go for two more on each side. So exhale and inhale. Good. And last one to each. Beautiful, well done. Relax those arms. If you need to, a couple of nice big shoulder rolls just to stretch them out. Wonderful. The next one is a little bit harder, so we're gonna do a punch out. So just careful with your weights. If they are too heavy, go for something a little bit lighter, um, or you can do it with no weights at all. So hands are gonna start in line with our shoulders. We breathe in. And then as we breathe out, we punch out. Breathe in to bring that arm back. Breathe out, punch out the other side. And breathe in, good. Breathing out and in. And as we come out, again, try not to go too high or too wide. We wanna be in line with that shoulder. As those arms are going, can you see if you can just gently lift that pelvic floor off that ball? Just a gentle lift. Good. Exhale as we punch. Inhale as we return. The legs shouldn't be doing anything except for maintaining that gap between those knees. you start to get a little bit of a burn through the tops of those arms now. That is normal. Good. Let's go for two more on each side again. So exhale, punch. Inhale, return. 
exhale, punch, inhale. Good, and lucky last. Well done. Oh, bit of a workout for those arms. Last one now with the weight for the moment <laughs> is a little delta or a, a fly. So our elbows are going to start at 90 degrees and in line with um, my shoulders are in line with my elbows so they're tucked into my trunk. Let's breathe in and then as we breathe out we lift those arms out to the side and then breathe in as we lower. Exhale, lift and inhale, lower. So my elbows should only be coming up to shoulder height. We don't go any higher than that. And we try and keep those hands in line with our elbows. So we're not sort of doing this motion, but everything comes up together. Good. You start to feel these ones quite quickly, again, through the tops of those shoulders. Exhale and inhale, good. Let's go for three more from here. So we'll go three, two, and one. Well done. I'm gonna pop those weights off to the side. We'll come back and use them in a minute. Let's go for something for our legs now. So we're gonna take the ball up against the wall. So if you've got a wall close by, um, you can use that for some squats. If not, that's okay. You can just do them standing. I'll quickly show you if you're doing them standing without the ball. We're gonna go into a sumo squat. So if you don't have that ball, hopefully it doesn't go walkabouts on me. <laughs> We're going to do a nice wide squat. So our feet are turned out to the side. Take a nice deep breath in. And then as you breathe out, we're going to sink down into a sumo squat. And then breathe in as we come up. So if you don't have the ball, this is going to be your variation. Okay, I'll show you one more. Beautiful. If you do have the ball, we are going to pop it up against the wall. And the ball just sits in that arch of our lower back. So it should be really comfortable. We step our feet just slightly forwards. And we want our feet to be hip width apart. Now the ball's going to follow you up and down the wall. So don't worry if it starts to move. All right. Whichever variation of squat you're doing, breathing is the same. So let's take a breath in. And then as we breathe out, we sink down into our squat and then breathe in as we press up. Breathing out, sinking down and breathing in to come up. This is where I'll start to get a little bit puffy because squats are a bit harder. Good. You shouldn't be getting any knee pain. If you are getting knee pain, don't take your squat as low, so keep it a little bit higher. Try and really focus on pressing up through those heels. So you're activating your bottom muscles. Good. Exhale, lower. And inhale. Good. We're going to do something a little bit trickier, if you like. If you want to make it a little bit harder, we're going to add in a pulse. So can we sink down? And then we're going to do little pulses where we bounce up and down for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. That will get those thighs burning for sure. <laughs> Okay, let's let that ball drop down and I'm just going to roll it away. We don't need it anymore for the time being. From there, we're going to come down onto the floor. So we're going to start on our hands and our knees. So when we're on our hands, 
hands and our knees. And this is a little bit tricky for me to see where my position is at the moment. But can we pop our wrists underneath our shoulders and our knees underneath our hips? And you want a bit of a gap between those knees so they're not together, but they're not really wide either. They should be in line about hip width apart. We're going to come back to a little bit of arm. <coughs> Excuse me, some arm work now, so into some push-ups. When you've got a big tummy in front, you really want to arch with your back. So try and make a conscious effort just to straighten it out a little bit. With our push-ups, we're going to take a breath in, and then as we breathe out, elbows come out to the side, our nose taps between our fingertips, and then we press up. Okay, so elbows out to the side, nose between those fingertips, and then we press up. So with the breathing, let's take a breath in. And then as we breathe out, lowering into a push-up, breathing in to press up. Breathing out, lower down, and breathing in. Now your bottom goes up in the air, rather than back over your feet. And elbows, like I've mentioned, they go out to the side. These are a bit tricky, so let's go for three more. Two. And one. Lovely. Give those wrists a bit of a shake. Then we're going into some tricep push-ups. So more for the backs of the arms now. So we're going to take that same hands and knees position. This time, instead of our elbows going out to the side, elbows are going to go back behind us. The trick being here is that our body weight still wants to go forwards, so we don't take our body weight back. So we'll start and I'll cue it again, okay? Gently try and pick up that tummy rather than letting it arch. Let's breathe in. And then as we breathe out, elbows go back behind, but body weight goes forwards. Exhale as we lower. Inhale as we press up. And you'll notice mine are quite shallow. <laughs> I don't have the strongest of arms. I might have strong hands, but I don't have strong triceps. Beautiful. So exhale and then inhale. And we'll keep going with that. Make sure you can, you can feel it behind those upper arms. Let's go for four. Three. Two and one. Well done. Okay. Even I'm waking up a sweat. <laughs> All right. Let's relax those arms for the moment and we'll come back to a little bit of thigh work. So we're going to be up nice and tall. Tall kneeling, we call this. Knees are hip width apart. So again, we don't want them close together. Arms are gonna just be out in front, okay? Try not to lean that body back. It's easy to do when you've got a pregnant belly in front of you, okay? But we're gonna go into what we call a knee sway. If you don't want your arms up, that's fine. You can pop your hands on your hips. Otherwise, let's take a nice deep breath in. As we breathe out, we're going to lean our trunk back and then inhale as we come forwards. Now we're going to do a modified version of this being pregnant. So as we lean, that's okay. And then when you come forward, just come back to the start. Normally we go a little bit further, but when you're pregnant, your balance is a little bit off, so I don't want anybody falling in front. So let's take a breath in, grow nice and tall, and then breathing out as we lean back, 
and then breathing in to return to the center. Breathing out, leaning, and breathe in. Now, I'm not sure if it's easy to see, but we want to keep our shoulders, our hips, and our knees all in a straight line. So I'm not going to sit my bottom back, rather I lean the whole trunk, okay? Inhale, and then exhale to lean. Inhale, return. Exhale, lean. Inhale, good. We'll do one more. Relax through those shoulders. Arms can come down. A couple of nice big shoulder rolls there. Beautiful. Okie doke. We're going to come down onto our elbows. A little bit of glute work and a little bit of leg work. And then we're going to finish off with some side lying. So, coming down now onto our elbows. You can, I must mention, you can do these on your wrists if you like. But sometimes people find it just a little bit more comfortable on the elbows. Regardless, if you're on your hands um, or on your elbows, eyes want to be looking between your, your hands or your fingertips. We're not looking down at our knees, okay? So we're going to go into some glute pumps. Can we tuck the toes of one foot under? Let's take a nice deep breath in. And then as we breathe out, we're going to donkey kick that leg up to the ceiling and then breathe in as we lower. Exhale as we lift and inhale as we lower. Again, it's hard for me to see what I am doing, but you want to try and keep that knee locked at 90 degrees. So as you come up, you're not straightening, so we're not doing that. We're trying to really focus on pressing that heel up to the ceiling, squeezing through our bottom. Good. All right, let's go one more on this side. On the next one, can we go to lift it? And then we're going to do little pulses for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and lower. Well done. Just going to give my elbows a quick break. And then we're going to go straight onto that other side. So relax that first foot down. We're going to tuck the toes of the other foot now under. Let's breathe in. And then as we breathe out, kicking that heel, pushing that heel up to the ceiling and breathe in to lower. Breathe out to kick up and breathe in to lower. Good. Again, trying to really keep that knee Locked at 90 degrees. And pressing that heel up as far as you can. Making sure that you have no pain either in your back or in your pubic area, so really quite low. Let's go for two more. And then on the next one, we'll lift and then we'll pulse for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Well done. Come up onto those hands and knees and we're going to round up into a cat stretch. So we're going to tuck our chin to our chest. Rounding our spine up to the ceiling and then dropping back down. Nice deep breath in as we round and breathing out, looking up, opening through our chest. 
breathing and breathing out. One more. Perfect. Okay. If you want something a little bit more for your arms, we are going to go back to some weights. So, if you are okay in that hands and knees position, we're only going to do five of these to each side. So, our wrists are underneath our shoulders, knees under our hips. If you've had enough of this position, you can go back to sitting on your ball um, or even do it in standing or kneeling, which are, whichever, whichever position you like. So if you're on your hands and your knees, let's take a breath in. Try not to really arch through that back, pick up your back a little bit. Inhale, as we exhale, float one arm up in front of us, and then inhale to return. Exhale, lift the other arm, and inhale. Exhale, and inhale, good. Keep going with that. If you're sitting or kneeling, I'll show you on this side, you can just do this movement here. Okay. Exhale as we lift. Inhale as we lower. Eyes are looking between those hands. We're not looking between our knees. Let's go for one more on each side, whichever variation you're doing. Now we're going to turn our palms so that they're facing one another, okay? And this time we go out to the side. So we breathe in, and then as we breathe out, take the arm out to the side, breathe in to return. Breathe our arm out to the side, and breathe in to return. If you're doing it on your hands and knees, or sitting, or standing, just taking that arm out to the side, no higher than shoulder height, it doesn't have to go high at all. Okie doke, and we're going to come back this way. Good. Let's go for one more on each side. Beautiful. Alright, relax those arms. You can pop those weights off to the side. We're done with those now. Okay, so we're gonna finish off with a little bit of work laying on our side. Now this is for our glutes and our hips. If you do get any pubic, plant, pubic pain, please stop or any other, any other pain, okay? So we're gonna have a lay on our side. Now it's important if you've got a towel, you can pop a towel between your shoulder and your ear. I'm just going to lay with my arm out straight. And we're going to go into some clams. So with our clams, we want to imagine like the back of our hand, back of our head, back of our bottom and back of our heels all line up against a wall. Knees are in front of us. Our heels are going to stay together. Let's take a breath in, and then as we breathe out, we're going to open up that top knee, and then breathe in as we close. Okay? Breathing out as we open, and breathing in as we close. It's important as we open and close that we don't let our hips roll all the way back. Sometimes it's People think it's okay because, oh, look, I'm getting really, really high. But then that's not the correct movement to try and keep those hips a little bit more forwards. And imagine that you can't open up any further because you're stuck that, by that wall that's behind you. You should start to feel it working through the back of that glute, back of that hip now. We're going to go for two. Take little breaks whenever you need. Last one. 
Perfect. Give that a bit of a run. Okay. A level two clam now. So our position is almost exactly the same. The only thing we do is we pick those feet up off the floor and our knees stay down. All right, let's breathe in. As we breathe out, open that knee. Breathe in as we close. Breathe out as we open and breathe in as we close. Again, imagining like you've got that brick wall behind, you can't open up too far. Good. And again, quite quickly, because we've done those level ones, you should start to feel the back of that hip working. Good, let's go for three. Two and one. Wonderful work. Pop that leg down, give that a bit of a rub. Nice job. We're going to turn to the other side now and do the other. We have to work the other glute. So careful having a sit up and then we're going to change our body position. I'll keep going this way so I'm facing the camera. You can just turn directly onto your other side. Okay. Arm out nice and straight again. Imagine like we've got that brick wall behind us. So the back of our hand, back of our shoulders, backs of our bottom, backs of our heels all line up against that wall. Knees in front. Feet are going to stay on the floor first up. Let's breathe in and then breathe out, open that top knee, breathe in as we close, breathing out as we open and breathing in as we close, good. Now you might notice that this side starts to warm up a little bit quicker, that is completely normal. Again, try not to open too far. That will rock those hips backwards. Exhale and inhale. Good. Again, you should be feeling it through the back of that hip. Wonderful. Let's go for three, two, And one. Lovely. Relax that top knee. Give that a bit of a rub quickly. And then we're going to go straight into those level two. So position almost exactly the same. Just go to pick your feet up off the floor. Let's breathe in. And then breathe out to open. And breathe in to close. Breathing out as we open. And breathe in. You might have much more flexible hips than me. Mine are quite tight. Good. Exhale and inhale. Again, making sure we don't rock those hips backwards. Just keep your body weight a little bit more forwards. Good. Again, you should be feeling that burning a little bit now through the back of that hip. Let's go for four. Heels stay pressed together. Three, two, and last one, one. Well done. Pop those legs down, give that a bit of a rub. All right. We will just finish off with a little bit of a stretch. So if you can, have a sit up. Now we're gonna sit in what we call half W, or half, or mermaid, whichever, whichever you wanna call it, it doesn't matter. If you're comfortable like this, if you've got any knee pain, you can sit with your legs out straight, or any pubic pain, you can do it with your legs out straight. Otherwise, if it's just a little bit stiff through your hips, that's okay, all right? So I'm actually gonna sit with my legs out straight for one side and then I'll see if I can do half W. 
the other side. Can we go to pop our arms out? Let's breathe in and then as we breathe out, we're going to collapse down onto our elbow and stretch bottom back. Breathe in, grow nice and tall and then breathe out. We plant the hand and then stretch over on this side. Good. Breathe in and breathing out. Collapse down, reach over. Breathe in, grow tall. Breathe out, plant the hand. Reach over and up. Good. I'll change my legs. Breathe in, breathe out. Collapse down, stretching over. Breathe in and breathing out. As I'm breathing, breathe out, collapse down, stretch over. Inhale and exhale. Good. Swap those legs around. Okay, again, any knee pain, pop those legs out straight. Otherwise, see if we can sit like this. Breathe in. Breathe that. Now we collapse down onto the elbow off the other side. Stretch over. Think about pushing that hip down away from us. Breathe in, grow tall. And breathing out. Stretching up and over on this side. Breathe in. And breathing out. Good. Inhale. And exhale. We'll go two more. Breathe in and breathe out. Last one. Inhale, grow tall and exhale, stretching over. Beautiful. That brings us to the end of our um, pregnancy Pilates class. I hope you all enjoyed it. Don't be surprised if you are a little bit sore in a few little spots tomorrow. Um, but we hope to see you next time. Thank you.